Hi boys and girls, it's Mrs. Porco and Mrs. Connor back for a second math installment. Uh, before we start today, we wanted to give you this quick little short message. Uh, we just wanted to say hi and to say that Mrs. Porco and I miss you very much and hope that you are all happy and healthy and doing well. Uh, without further ado, let's get started. Last week we worked on uh, the volume of surface air, uh, this volume of triangular prisms. This week we are going to be working on the surface area of triangular prisms. So before we get started, let's go ahead and uh, review some of the terms that we're going to be using throughout this uh, video. Uh, of course, if we're doing surface area, we're going to be saying area quite a, a few times. So the area is the amount of surface a figure covers. So you're going to be covering a surface. Uh, when we are calculating uh, the area, we use square centimeters. And the way that you write that mathematically is um, an example would be square millimeters, square centimeters, square meters, square kilometers, etc. Now, area is something that we've been doing for a long time, since grade three actually. Um, but the difference here is, is that we're going to be doing surface area of 3D shapes. And today, we're going to be doing triangular prisms and we're going to review rectangular prisms as well. And what we're doing there is we're going to try to find the sum of all the areas of the faces of whatever prism you're doing and triangular prism, rectangular prism, or whatever. I do have a formula to share with you, but I'll do that in a minute. Before we start with triangular prisms, though, we want to build on knowledge that we already have. And knowledge that we already have is discovering the surface area of rectangular prisms. And I've drawn a rectangular prism here, and I've also got a 3D rectangular prism here to show you. So what I'm hoping is, is that when you see this uh, kind of top and bottom, front and back, right and left, it kind of refreshes your memory of when we did surface area of rectangular prisms in class together a couple, three months ago. So just to review how you find area, I'm sure most of you remember how to find the area of, of a rectangle. So I have a rectangle here, and rectangle here, and it happens to be 12 centimeters long by three centimeters wide. So simply, the formula for area of a, of a rectangle is Area is equal to length times width. So the length of this, as I said, is 12, and the width is three centimeters. So multiply 12 times three, and you get 36 square centimeters. So essentially, that's what we're gonna be doing. The only difference is, is that we're doing it for a rectangular prism, and a rectangular prism is not a flat two-dimensional shape like this, but rather it's a three-dimensional shape. It actually has six faces. It has a top and a bottom. It has a front and a back, and it has a right side and a left side because it's three dimensional. So what we're gonna do is we're going to calculate the top and the bottom being that they're exactly the same. Then we're, next we're gonna do the front and the back because they're the same, and the right and the left are exactly the same. We'll calculate those and then we'll add all of those up to find out what the total surface area is of this rectangular prism. So the top and the bottom, as I said before, is 12, or sorry, 15 centimeters long by 12, 15 centimeters long by 12 centimeters wide. And we multiply that by two because we have a top and a bottom. So 15 times 12 times two is 360, 360 square centimeters. For the front and the back, Here's, here's the front, if we kind of tip it up this way, we can see it's 15 centimeters long by three centimeters wide. So 15 times three times two, because there's a front and a back, is equal to 90. And last but not least, we'll calculate the right and the left side. So the right side is exactly the same as the left. So 12 centimeters long by three centimeters. So 12 times three is equal to uh, 36 times two is equal to 72. Add these three figures up, and that 
all the grand total of that is 522 square centimeters. So the total surface area of this rectangular prism is 522 square centimeters. So hopefully that gives you a refresher on what we already know. We're gonna use that knowledge to do some examples of triangular prisms today. So here's the triangular prism that we'll start with. And the difference of course is, is that with a tri triangular prism, we have two triangular faces. So here's one triangular face, and over here is another triangular face. And then there's three rectangular faces, that, uh, the orange one, the purple one, and the blue one in this case. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a slightly different formula for a triangular prism because we have that triangular face uh, to deal with, the two triangular faces, I should say. So uh, the formula for finding out the area of any triangle is base times height divided by two. So the reason why we multiply by two as well is because we have two triangular faces. So we'll just plug in the values. So the base of this triangular face is five centimeters and the height of it is four centimeters. So five times four, and then you just copy down divided by two times two. Let's solve for five times four, which is 20. Copy down the rest. Divided by two times two gets copied down here. Let's solve for the, the next thing. 20 divided by two is 10. Copy down times two. 10 times two is 20. So the total surface area of both the triangular faces, the front and the back one, is 20 square centimeters. Now all we have to do is find the area of the three rectangular faces. So let's do the first one. Uh, might as well do this one first because it's the most obvious. So the formula for that is just area times, area is equal to a length times width. So we'll plug in our values. Area is equal to 10 times five, 10 by five, and 10 times five is 50. Now, as I was telling you before, all three, the blue, the orange, and the purple sides are all exactly the same. So that's what I've done here. Area is equal to length times width times uh, is equal to, area is equal to 10 times five is 50. And I've done it again here for a total of 50 for the third rectang rectangular face. And now all we have to do is add up all of these figures to get our total surface area. So 50 plus 50 plus 50 is 150, plus another 20 more is 170 square centimeters. All right, let's move on to our second one. Our second one is this one right here. And I've drawn it. And I also have it here in three-dimensional form to show you. So this is what we used uh, last week for our volume of triangular prisms. So this one is uh, 10 centimeters as the base of the triangular face and five centimeter height, five centimeter height. And then the, um, the length of the triangular prism is two centimeters. So let's have a look at the ramp side. The ramp side is the long side. So that's two centimeters here by 13 centimeters. And then if we were to place it uh, like that, the base is 10 centimeters by two centimeters. And then last but not least, the short little side that's right here is five centimeters by two centimeters. So let's go ahead and use this drawn figure here to help us calculate this. Once again, we'll figure out the uh, area of the triangular faces first by plugging in our, our formula, base times height divided by two. And then we multiply that by two because we have two triangular faces. Plug in the values, the base here is 10, the height is five, so 10 times five divided by two times two. Uh, go ahead and solve for 10 times five, which is 50, divide that in half and then multiply by two. Uh, go ahead and solve by for 50 divided by two is 25, and then copy down the times two. And our last thing is 25 times two is 50. So the surface area of both the front and the back triangular face is 50 square centimeters. Now we have to solve for the three rectangular faces, number one, number two, and number three. You could say A, B, or C, whatever you want to do here. So once again, we know that the 
um, formula for the rectangular faces is area is equal to length times width. So let's go ahead and do the bottom one that it's sitting on. So you can see that that's 10 centimeters long by two centimeters wide. So 10 times two is equal to 20. Uh, the next one, uh, rectangular face number two, let's do the ramp side, the uh, kind of the one that's on a angle or a diagonal here. Uh, you can see that that's 13 centimeters by two centimeters. So you can see that it's two centimeters here as well, of course. Area is equal to length times width. Area is equal to 13 times two, which is 26. And the last but not least, well, let's do this the shorter back one on the far left side. Area is equal to length times width. Area is equal to five times two. Five times two is 10. So all we have left to do now is to add up all of those so that we get the sum of all of those five faces. And uh, 50 plus 20 plus 26 plus 10 is 106 square centimeters. So this has a surface area of 106 square centimeters. And the last example I have for you is this one. So I'll show you the 3D shape. This is the one that has a, um, the triangular face has a base of six centimeters and the height going up on a right angle to the top vertex of the triangular face is two centimeters. This side right here is four centimeters. This is three centimeters and the length of the rectangular, or sorry, the triangular prism is 11 centimeters. So I'll put that off to the side and we'll use the picture. So let's go ahead and solve for the area of the two triangular faces. Base times height divided by two times two. Plug in your values. The base of the triangular face is six. The height of the triangular face is two. Six times two divided by two times two. Go ahead and solve for six times two, which is 12. Copy down the rest. Solve for 12 divided by two, which is six. Copy down the times two. And last but not least, six times two is equal to 12. So the surface area of the two triangular faces is 12 square centimeters. Then we have our three rectangular faces to do. Let's go ahead and do the first one. It's quite obvious here that that is 11 centimeters by four centimeters, 11 by four. So area is equal to length times width, area is equal to 11 times four, which is 44. Let's go ahead and do the bottom rectangular face. So as you can see, it's 11 centimeters by six centimeters. So 11 times six is equal to 66. And last but not least, let's do this far one on the left side, you can see that it's three centimeters here, and uh-oh, there's no measurement here. So what am I going to do? I'm gonna look down to the next parallel side of the triangular prism, and I can see that this is 11 centimeters, so if this is 11 centimeters, so is this. So the dimensions of the far left side rectangular face is 11 centimeters long by three centimeters wide. Area is equal to length times width, Area is equal to 11 times three, which is 33. Now we're ready to add up all of our four figures here, which give us the five faces, two triangular faces, one, two, three rectangular faces, add all of those up, and we get a total of 155 square centimeters. So that is the total surface area of this triangular prism. I hope that helps you boys and girls and uh, Mrs. Porco and I 